Some thought it would never end, but this is it. The last of the series, all 37 episodes done. Where does the time go? Seriously, where does it go? And where does it come from? What if it stops coming? What even is it? Literally, what is time? Answers on a postcard, please. No more than 20,000 words. Funniest one wins a digital watch. So that's it. But before we go, there's just time to find out who the champions are this year. And the options are on my right. Frank Paul, an expert in medieval Islamic philosophy who is the owner of a significant collection of abandoned hubcaps. Tom Rowell, a secondary school teaching assistant whose autograph collection consists of Sven Goran Eriksson and Barry from EastEnders. And their captain, Lydia Meisen, an American studies graduate who insists that if her team wins the final, she will tattoo the only Connect logo onto her shoulder. United in their fight for freedom, they are the escapologists. So, Lydia, you got to this final by beating the Inquisitors. What does it mean to your team to have got this far? We are absolutely thrilled. It's been a great experience. We're happy to have dragged it out for as long as possible. The only obstacle between you and that tattoo is, on my left, Helen Fasham, a keen knitter who spent her honeymoon watching England lose a test match. Phil Small, an amateur archer who was so keen to disprove nominative determinism that he grew to be six foot eight inches tall and their captain, Ben Fasham, an Oxford Languages graduate who once got a mastermind peg stuck in his left nostril. Mouths watering at Moulfreet, they are the Belgophiles. Ben, you made it here without losing a single game in the whole run. What's been the highlight of your Only Connect experience? Well, we've had a couple of uh, close shaves, one-pointers. We've had a five-pointer answer, but I think my real highlight was Phil's Romanus and Domus moment. A happy memory for all viewers of the series. Phil especially, I'm sure. You won the toss, so you'll be going first. Please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. The Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus is going to be the first question of this final. Good luck, all of you, both teams. The first clue is coming up now. Next. Something you see is that's something you see is then. Next. Next. Oh, okay. It's yeah, I know, I know what it is. It's um the chemical symbols, so AS a poisonous arsenic is a poison. Come on, and beryllium. What we doing? Well we'll just listen to what I say for 14 seconds. So beryllium is present in emeralds. I think B is oh. beryllium. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. <clears throat> um I will allow Phil to explain this one. <laughs> What's going on here, Phil? I think there are chemical symbols hidden in these clues. Um, for example, um, arsenic AS is a poison. Uh, beryllium is present in emerald, which is BE, and IN, indium. It is indium, which is used to make electrical components and low melting alloys. Didn't need the last one. He is very light, he being... Helium. Helium, exactly so. It's the uses and properties of chemical elements. The first word there is actually representing a chemical element and the rest a property or use. Very well spotted for two points. Over to you, Escapologist, to choose a question. Lion, please. Lion. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Oldest ever, or the... Okay, uh, next. Oh, that's that's a melt whistle. They're, I think they're all, they What? I think that <laughs> it's, it's a fictitious entry in a reference book. Oh, okay. Should we go for that? Yeah. What do you ever think about the? Let's go. Let's go. For it. You, okay, you said. Are they all mount weasels? They are mount weasels. Very well done. Let's bring up all the clues, and you can explain to me, Frank, what is a mount weasel? Uh, a mount weasel is a fictitious entry in a reference book, usually inserted as a copyright trap. That's uh, exactly right. So Esquivalience ended up in a dictionary, I think. It's it was American, the New Oxford American, uh, dictionary. New Oxford American Dictionary. Do you know what definition they put for it? It was something to do with reluctance to perform a task or something along those lines. Willful avoidance of one's responsibilities. Mm. And Dictionary.com put it onto their own definitions website. Columbo's first name of Philip was something that... Uh, 
was used in Fred Worth's Trivia Encyclopedia, which was then plagiarised by Trivial Pursuit, and he then attempted to sue Trivial Pursuit, but lost the case because uh, they... Um, yeah, they claim that facts were in the public domain, which I think is rather unfair. If I wasn't married already, Frank, I'm serious. <laughs> I mean, this is incredible. You're answering these questions absolutely perfectly. And have I, you heard I, of... I grow uh... in New York State. <laughs> of course you have. I, I, I can't remember what map it's from. I know it ended up being mentioned in John Green's novel, Paper Towns. It's on various maps. It's a paper town, and it goes on to a few maps, and then other maps copy the original map, so it's always there. The temperature, that was to do with the official state-run meteorological institute in Slovakia, they put a fake temperature to see if a rival meteorological site would put the same temperature for that town, and they did, so they knew plagiarism was there. Brilliant for three points, and you did all the gloss as well. Very well done. Back to you, Belgafars, for a choice. Horned Viper, please. The Horned Viper. These are going to be picture clues. Something connects them. What is it? Here's the first. <laughs> Next. 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 Oh, it's um, foreign languages. Don't use. Hang, 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 red. Yeah. Well done. The image refers to um, a translation in French of the word. That's exactly what it is. They are English words and French meanings. Can you talk me through each clue? Uh, that's a tour, a tower in French. Mm -hmm. That's a coin or coin, mm -hmm. which is corner, pain or pain, mm -hmm. and dent or don. Exactly so. Well done. Escapologists, your turn next. Water, please. Water. <laughs> It's the music question. You'll be hearing your clues. I want to know what they have in common. Okay. The first one is coming in now. Next. Next. How do you solve a problem like Maria? I mean, it's just, just a name for the show. How do you find a word that means yeah. Maria? Next. Counting the cars of the New Jersey Turnpike, they've all come to Wait one second. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> are they all used as names of reality shows? They are not all used as names of reality shows. Belga Vars, do you want to have a go for a bonus? Um, they refer to New Jersey. They do not all refer to New Jersey. You're thinking of that last clue, America, Simon and Garfunkel. Did you recognise any of the others? Um, how do you solve a problem like Maria, which is from...? The Sound of Music. Mm, the song is just called Maria. Maria. Oh, there's songs in West Side Story. We heard cool Gwen Stefani tonight, New Kids on the Block, Maria from The Sound of Music and America, Simon and Garfunkel. All those titles are also titles of songs in West Side Story. Now, mind you, may have your own question. Which is it to be? Uh, two reads, please. Two reads. OK. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. <laughs> Next. Uh, is, um, it's, this is it's, be... it's a famous statue, but he's a figure from mythology. Yeah. I can't remember why. Next. This is finger. Do you know? Why shot for finger? No, I don't know. I see another one. Okay. Next. Oh, oh, it's, oh it's, yes. so it's, it's where the, the, how the arms are positioned oh, okay. for cricket. Two seconds. Uh, this is statues which are giving um, cricket instructions for umpires. That's exactly right. Well Phil, perhaps you could demonstrate for us. I can certainly try. I feel it would be much more impressive for everybody if you stood up. <laughs> <laughs> Happy to do so. Augustus of Prima Porta, a statue in the Vatican of white marble. What is he doing with his arms? Exactly so. <laughs> the next one I can't even begin to pronounce, but that's in the Vatican as well. Yeah, one one short. short, what's he doing? It's one short. It's not that, is it? Mm. Is it that? It, it's something like that. A six? 
He's got his hands up like that. Exactly so. Yes. And Christ the Redeemer, a wide. Magnificent. Thank you very much. Excellent demonstration. They are cricket terms represented by arm movements and statues that are doing them. Not deliberately, let me absolutely stress that I think Augustus of Prima Porter is not supposed to be depicting an out in cricket. Escapologist, one question remains. The twisted flax. The first clue is coming in now. Next. Next. Hmm? You know what they are? Oh, you don't. The weeping angels. Are they weeping? Should we say weeping? Three seconds. I know it is, yeah. Is it weeping? Yes, it is. Very well done. <laughs> What clues did you recognise? Uh, the Weeping Angels in Doctor Who, Frank got. Uh, Salix Babylonica, is that Weeping Willow? Yes, it is. That beef dish, do you know what that's called? Weeping Tiger. Weeping Tiger, that's oh. called. And uh, the first clue, do you know who that is? Weeping Widow. Uh, Weeping Woman, it's Picasso's lover. And that's credited as being the subject of his painting, Weeping Woman. All weeping, very well done. And that means at the end of round one, the Escapologists have four points, the Belgophiles have... Four points. Ba -ba -da -ba. On to round two. The sequence is round and Belga files. You'll be going first again. Please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus, is it? OK, I'll be showing you the first of a sequence. What would come forth? Time starts now. Next. Olympus Mons. Yeah. Olympus Mons. Is the right answer, and why? It's the highest mountain on Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. That's exactly right. It's really it's hard to measure the actual heights because they don't have sea level, so you don't really know where you're starting in terms of the relative heights. But it's the highest mountains on those planets, and the sequence is the planets moving outwards in the solar system from Mercury out to Mars. Very well done. Escapologist, what would you like? Twisted flax, please. The twisted flax. These are going to be picture clues. What sort of thing would you expect to see in the fourth picture? Here's the first. That movie is that movie is fifty first dates. Fifty first dates. Next. Oh, that's Bill Nye. Oh, is that the best Marigold Hotel? It could be the second best exotic movie. Yeah. Oh yeah, first, second, third. Fourth. Is that definitely so, what it's called? That film. Well, there's the second best exotic Marigold Hotel. Yeah. That's Do the you sequel. Wanna... Yeah, because that's film. So it'll be the fourth. Is the fourth estate a film? I think that's a film. I think the fourth estate is. Shall we guess it? Okay. The fourth estate is an acceptable answer. And why? Uh, we've got fifty first dates. We have the second best exotic marigold that hotel. One? Mm -hmm. Close encounters of the third kind. Oh, and born on the fourth of July. Yeah, we've got oh, yeah. born on the fourth of July, but there is a film called The Fourth Estate. Very well done. Back to you, Belga Files, for a choice. Lion, please. Lion. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Next. Oh, it's a, it's a family tree. Oh, it's, it's a family tree. It's but who is it? No, is it? No, is it? Is it? Is it true? So it's a line going down, line going down, line going down, don't you? Yeah, sure. Um, a line going down to Damien. That is the right answer. And why? I think it's the the Trotter family tree in Only Fools and Horses. It is the Trotter family tree. Ted is granddad, isn't it? Granddad with his wife Violet, who fathered Reginald, who is the father of Derek or Del Boy Trotter, and his wife Raquel, the parents of Damien. Very well done. Escapologist, what would you like next? Water, please. Water. OK. Well, well, a music <laughs> sequence. How lovely. So you will be hearing your clues, as many as three, and I want to know what sort of thing you'd hear in fourth place. The first one coming in now. Next. I got a chance. I'm also 
Okay, so I'm your third person then. Okay. Third person then maybe something with we, because first person is singular, that's how it is. Should we check? Or do you want to go? Let's go for it. Come on, let's go for it. Okay. Yeah. We are the champions by Queen? Would be a very good answer. <laughs> very well done for three points. And why? We've got first person, second person, third person singular, um, third person plural? Then first person plural. First person plural. <laughs> what did we hear? Uh, I'm a believer by the monkeys, mm -hmm. and you're the one that I want. That's Thanks. absolutely right. And we were going to hear She's the One on our way to We're Something. Could have been We're on the Ball and Tendek. But no, you went for We Are the Champions. Well, I tell you what. As you may have guessed at the beginning of the show, our CD player is broken, which is why we have these phenomenal guests, the Swingles, in the studio. Why don't you guys have a go, see if you can get some of the notes right. We are the champions, my friends. Oh, no time for losers, cos we are the champions. Absolutely brilliant. That was brilliant. I'm rather sorry, that's over. Belga Files, what would you like? Two reads, please. Two reads. OK. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. We have six. We need to do a first. No, sorry, sorry. Next. It could be 16, 17. Mm -hmm. So it could be 18, 19, so something like 20, 20, 20 21. Something like that. So 10, 14, 15. 14, 15. Was it definitely 16? 15? I don't know. It's 16, 17, I think. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't know that it's 16, 17. Which right, 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 uh, the last general election, 2015. I'm afraid that would not work as a sequence. So, Escapologist, I'm going to show you the third clue and I want to know what you think would come forth. Uh, was it the Brexit vote? You're already wrong with the words, was it? <laughs> oh. It oh, hasn't happened yet. The Battle of Agincourt was... 1415. 1415. Pocahontas died in 1617. The Peterloo Massacre, St Peter's Fields in Manchester, 1819. So we want something that will happen in 2021. For example, the next UK census. India's first manned space flight is planned for 2021. Only connect 17th series, someone's written hopefully here. Yes, and by then we'll be doing this sequence again, I imagine. So, no bonus point, but you may have the Horned Viper. Thank you. What would come forth in this snaking sequence? Here's the first. Yeah. Next. Are these... Uh, a N S W E R. Yeah. Answer. It's going to spell out answer. It's going to spell out answer. <laughs> <laughs> well done. What's happening in this sequence? All the letters are going back by one. That's exactly right. D becomes C becomes B becomes A. Q becomes P becomes O becomes N until you spell the word answer. Good quizzing. That means at the end of round two, the Belga files have eight points. The Escapologists have thirteen. Thank you. <laughs> There are two connecting walls left of this series, and I'm going to give the first one to you, Escapologists. Would you like a lion or water? Water, please. Water. OK, you have two and a half minutes to solve the water wall, starting now. Uh, Tango and Lima are in the NATO for a medical so alphabet. Romeo and, and, and Golf. Golf. OK. What do you want to do? Yeah. Take out Julia. <laughs> OK, take out Golf. OK. Take out Romeo. Sports as well, but I think they're probably going to be. Um, Rabies is an anagram of Serbia. Okay. Are there any other? Mali. Mali, Serbia, okay. Um, Tonga. Tonga. Uh, Cyprus. Okay. okay. Rugby. Um, yeah, okay, so. Is there anything else? No, I don't no. think so. Right. 
Something. Um, sorry, okay, Harry. so look, there's Samson and Daisy. There's Daisy Samson. Is there Daisy Samson? Uh, Rose Royce. Yeah, Rose. Daisy Royce, which I feel like I'm in that okay. show. Doug Martin. Samson. Dad Samson. 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 Juliet Bravo. Golf. <laughs> Volkswagen Golf. There it is. Volkswagen Polo. Yeah. Volkswagen Escalus. That sounds like a good one. Juliet. Rolls Royce, Volt Speed W Golf, something else. Which is probably not going to be golf. Might be Escalus. Alfa Romeo. Alfa Romeo, of course. Okay, Let's try that with. Try it with golf. Okay, no. Harley Davidson. <laughs> I think Escalus might be on, but I just, I just don't know. I think we haven't done the whole bottom row. That's it. The time is up. But you found a group. Yeah, well we done. Did, well done. What connects Sprucey, Tango, Lima, Rabies? They are anagrams of countries. Or anagrams of countries. And you can still get points for the connections in the groups you didn't find, so let's resolve the wall. Golf, cricket, rugby, polo. They're all sports. Yeah, they're simply, <laughs> more specifically... It's uh, sports with balls. They're ball games. Oh, simply my that. God. Yeah, man. Oh, yes. And the next group, Romeo, Martin, Davidson, Royce. They're all the second names of cars. So we've got Alfa Romeo, Aston Martin, Harley Davidson, Rolls Royce. They are all half of motor manufacturers. And the last one, Samson, Potpan, Juliet, Aeschylus. Shakespearean. The characters who die and who commit suicide. <laughs> I'm afraid not, and it is really staring you in the face. Oh, no. They're just characters from Romeo and Juliet. Oh, are they? But Romeo wasn't in that group, yeah. but they're minor oh, yeah. characters. But you found a group and you gave me three connections. That is a total of four. Very well done on a wall so difficult. Let's bring in the Belga files now and give them the other wall, the Lion Wall, and this is the final, final wall of the series. You have two and a half minutes to solve the Lion Wall, starting now. Oh, it's a film with an exclamation mark. Yeah. Yeah. Stowe schools, there are schools, Stowe rugby. Oh. It's a VW. Oh, okay, good. Like, Polo. Polo's Polo's should we go for them? Gold. Tango. Oh, oh golf. Gold. And gold. where's the chest? Yeah. Yeah. What other? Is there any other VWs? VW. What's the dance? Lima's Peru. Is there any anagrams at all? There's um, stone. There's not bad ones. There's places that have given their names to rugby. To sports, sorry. Sports. Oh, oh, this the Romeo Tango yeah. polo. Well, yeah. so. yeah. wow. yeah. <sighs> Dickens. Well, are these the explanations, explanations of like you know, crikey Dickens? Like, yeah, what the Dickens? Um, something like uh, crikey. you're out of time, what a horrible final wall. Yes. But you can still get points for the connections, so let's resolve the wall. There we go. Golf, Romeo, Tango, Lima. UN alphabet call signs. It is just the phonetic alphabet, isn't it? Simple as that. And the next one, up, Amarok, Polo, Jetta. VWs. Those are the Volkswagens. Yes, there is an up and an Amarok, slightly more obscure, but those are the VWs. And the next one, Badminton, Dollar, Rugby, Stowe. Schools. 
Those are the schools. Yes, Badminton is a girls' school near Bristol and Dollar, the Dollar Academy in Scotland. And the turquoise group, Ostrich Cricket, Crikey Dickens. Um, the last word of expl exclamations? That's not it. They contain abbreviations of the name Richard. Rich, Rick, Rick without the C and Dick. They all have little Richards hidden inside them. <laughs> but you found three connections on that nasty final wall. Well done for that. So you get three points. Let's have a look at the overall scores. The Belga Files have 11 points. The Escapologists have 17. So a bit of work needed from you, Belga Files, in the Missing Vowels round, but it can be done. Fingers on buzzers, teams. Let's decide the championship. I can tell you that the first group of disguise clues are all associated with connections or sequences. Belga Files. Synopsis. I don't think I can take it. Escapologist, do you Synapses. know? Synapses. Synapses are associated with connections. Next clue. Belga Files. Fibonacci. A sequence, correct. Escapologist. Social networking. A type of connection, that's right. Belga Files. Deoxyribonucleic acid. Very well done. DNA, as in genetic sequences. Next category, walls. Belga Files. Pink Floyd's The Wall. Yes, it is. Nope, this one is Antonine Wall. Next clue. Belga Files. Rahul Dravid. Cricket of the Wall. Well done. Belga Files. Sorry. No, too long. Let's call you know. Nope, it's Eaton Wall Game Wall. Next category, they're all missing vowels. Escapologists? This clue. Yes, it is. Escapologists? Hebrew in the Torah. Hebrew in the Torah is correct. Belga files? Bottom row of QWERTY keyboard. Correct. That last one was abbreviation of Mr. Murr. But the bell has gone for the end of the quiz. And I can tell you that the winners and new champions of Only Connect with 21 points are the Escapologists. Very well done to you, Thanks. Lydia. It's time to make an appointment with the tattoo oh parlor. <laughs> Very well quizzed. Belga Files, you finished with 14. There were some valiant attempts in that missing Vales round to try and turn around the difference. Not quite enough. But you haven't lost a match all series. If you're only going to lose one game, it might as well be this one. <laughs> and that really is it. Nothing left now but our magnificent closing ceremony. And this too shall pass, as the radiographer said when he found a second crayon in the toddler's stomach. Yes, the relentless alimentary canal of television has done its work on Only Connect. We have flowed out from the television, across your living room, and we're now heading towards the sea. And if you think that's a disgusting image, it's deliberate. I'm trying to make you miss us less. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.